The latest celebrity photo hack. Tiger Woods and Lindsey Vonn threatening legal action now against a site that published nude photos of the former couple, along with other stars. ABC's Lindsey Davis is here with those details. Good morning, Lindsey. Good morning, Amy. Explosive and embarrassing. This latest photo scandal has lawyers for multiple celebrities threatening, take the pictures down or else. Lindsey Vaughn's spokesperson says the Olympic gold medalist will take all necessary and appropriate legal action to protect and enforce her rights and interests. We have raced on this hill. Olympic skier Lindsey Vaughn is contemplating legal action this morning after nude photos of her and ex-boyfriend Tiger Woods were posted online. The couple, who broke up in 2015, reportedly shared intimate photos and videos while they were dating. Lindsey on the top. Vaughn's phone was reportedly hacked. Her pictures leaked and posted for all to see on a gossip website that features nude photos and videos of celebrities, including Twilight star Kristen Stewart and actress Katherine McPhee. A representative for Vaughn told ABC News, it is an outrageous and despicable invasion of privacy for anyone to steal and illegally publish private intimate photos, adding websites that encourage this detestable conduct should be prosecuted to the fullest extent under the law. Attorneys for Woods and Vaughn have already told the site to act expeditiously to remove and permanently disable access to the photos. But the website's operator denies they stole the photos directly from the celebrities, telling ABC News they will not remove them, saying we got the pictures from different message boards around the internet. We did not hack them. The website that is sharing photographs uh, without the consent of the individual also subjects itself to liability. Hackers frequently target female celebrities. Miley Cyrus, Emma Watson, and Jennifer Lawrence have all had private images exposed on the internet. The 29 year old who hacked Lawrence was sentenced to nine months in prison. The Hunger Games star called the experience terrifying, telling Vogue, it's scary when you feel the whole world judges you, adding, I think people saw the hacking for what it was, which was a sex crime, but that feeling, I haven't been able to get rid of it. For those who are hell bent on taking and sending these kinds of sensitive pictures, there's an app for that. It's called Remuki, and it's regarded as the prenup for sex tapes and pictures. It safeguards these images by encrypting them onto your phone. You can even set expiration dates, etc. A little news you can use this morning. And Amy, according to a recent survey, about 50% of Americans could use this app. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow, that is a lot of news I didn't necessarily need to know. But thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> All right, for more now, let's bring in ABC News Chief Legal Analyst Dan Abrams and media expert Larry Hackett. So, Larry, I mean, we see all the names, the growing list. This is a big problem it, among celebrities now. It's a huge problem among celebrities. I mean, people, you know, as long as there's an Internet, there's going to be people out there who are going to want to see them in, with pictures like this. And they are human beings. You know, the thing about celebrities is they like to be famous most of the time. But in those most intimate moments, which we all share, they forget that they're celebrities and they end up with these things in their telephones. And then, frankly, right now, as we know, whether it's Hollywood celebrities or the DNC, the Democratic National Committee, people yeah. know how to hack these phones. And this is going to get worse and worse until people stop having them on their telephones. Yeah, that's probably the, the biggest Absolutely. tip of them all. Why? Why yeah. do you need to take them? Yeah. All right, Dan. So the website, which is pretty interesting, is doubling down, refusing to take down these specific photos. So how good of a case do Tiger Woods yeah. and Lindsey Vaughn have with this? So one? let's separate out criminal from civil. First of all, when it comes to criminal charges, that would be for the person who hacked the phones. No question that that person uh, could be charged criminally. When you're the media entity who's then distributing it, you're talking about a civil. How do you get them to take it down? Are there money damages? Two basic claims here. Number one would be copyright, meaning apparently Tiger Woods took this photo. So if he took the photo, he owns the copyright. And as a result, he could say as the copyright owner, you better take this down because this picture belongs to me. The second uh, way they could go about it is by saying it's an invasion of privacy. Remember the, the Gawker uh, Hulk Hogan lawsuit. Yep. A similar type of claim has to happen there. The problem is that you have to have someone on the other side who cares about potentially losing an enormous judgment. Um, so far, it seems that uh, the website doesn't really particularly care because there's no question that the copyright case is a very strong one and that the invasion of privacy one would probably be a strong one, but you need someone on the other side who cares. They don't care. As we all are noticing, we're not naming this website, and this person who runs this website knows that. What he is holding out for is that people start naming this website. If he gets sued, mm -hmm. it's eventually we're going to eventually have to name this website. He wants attention. 
and then he knows that the next time he is photographed, he someone will go, hits. absolutely. And, and there's a little trick that they'll do, which is sometimes they'll say they won't respond, and then two or three days later, they'll agree to take down the photos. Why? Because they've gotten all the traffic exactly. uh, in those yep. two or three days, and everyone's already so seen it. It's worth it for them. It, it, he's fully aware of Dan's legal argument. He doesn't care right now. He's holding out as long as possible to get as much attention as possible. All right, so what can celebrity do, celebrities do other than not take the photos to begin with? Well, then it's the either encrypt them, uh, make sure that they're you know deleted from anything related. I mean, look, it's really hard. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm, st I'm stopping myself because the <laughs> answer is yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, no, it's it's a really tough spot yep. uh, that they're in in terms of look. If you're a celebrity and you're taking nude photos. There's a risk. Yep. Yep. Um, that's it. I don't know how else to say it. Not only that, these are three-year-old photographs. So she did what everybody else does, where you take a picture and you forget about it, and it's sitting on your phone with 10,000 other pictures. That's what happened, and they got found. So the idea is, I guess if you break up, you get rid of the pictures. Huh? Yeah. I, I guess we get rid of is a hard thing to do, right? When you're talking about being on the <laughs> cloud, etc. Yeah. We've, I mean, we've established it, right? Yeah, that's yeah, the only yeah, way to yeah, fully yeah, be protected. Yeah, All right, Dan, yeah. Larry, thank you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.